Bloodhound is a rolling laboratory packed with computers and over 600 sensors. Too fast for wind tunnels, the car has been designed entirely using digital simulations. It's only when it runs and is producing data that the engineers can see if their calculations were correct. Students can have hands-on experience of these coding and data gathering activities by taking part in our exciting microbit workshops. Many people have heard of a Raspberry Pi, many people have heard of an Arduino. They're little programmable circuit boards. The micro bit, you could probably define it as, as, the, as the entry level. Inbuilt within the circuit board are all sorts of devices. There's a compass on there, there's an accelerometer on there, there's a temperature gauge on there. So you can use all, all sorts of different applications and they're very easy to use. It, it's, so 78% of the jobs in STEM um, have a requirement for some computer skills. 4% of the students going into STEM at the moment have got that capability. Some of the statistics out there say one in four schools have got a structured program in which to deliver a coding workshop, which is a way off. T today we've actually been working with the, uh, some students here, some years five and six, and uh, so we build a little reaction game. They start off by accessing the online platform system, develop the code, develop the game, and then at the end of the time we put it then onto the micro bit and they play the game against their colleagues. Um, it's a really good introduction to coding. Many people leave us with, oh I didn't realise it was that easy. Um, and really, you, you're governed by your own imagination and where you can take this. Contact us now to book a fun coding workshop for your school or organisation.